My wife may be cheating on me right now for two weeks. What can I do? Hello, I never used to come here to speak about my feelings like this online. I normally prefer to deal with things alone, but I need guidance and don't know how to convey the truth to my friend or family. So here's the deal. My wife received a one-month position in another nation, Italy. She was hesitant to accept it since we hadn't seen each other for more than two months this summer due to the horrible sickness. But she hasn't had a job since the beginning of the epidemic, and I told her to go for it because I want what's best for her, not for me. So we ended up remaining together for just one week in late September, and everything was great, as it usually is when we are together. But less than a week after she left, she was unavailable to FaceTime often, and I began to get a strange feeling about the entire affair. She was chatting about this person, and she seemed cheerful, and I had the feeling that something was terrible was going to happen. I didn't ask since I don't want to come out as the possessive and jealous spouse. I usually hide and try to deal with those kind of feelings because I judge them bad for both of us. But she began to speak about him more and more, and she began to exhibit strange illogical feelings that I didn't understand. I began having nightmares, as they normally do, and she eventually admitted to having feelings for him two days ago, more attraction, no love. He's the ideal Italian dude, if you see what I mean. When she wakes up late, he offers her breakfast, and BS like that. She has been under a lot of stress as a result of her employment there, her boss is insane, and since they work as a team he understands her. Except for the boss and her man, everyone speaks only Italian. I guess this MFCKR has an accent too. Anyway, she asked me for permission to be free with him today since she is under a lot of stress and has had a few breakdowns because she feels awful and guilty about how she feels about him. She stated she feels trapped in our relationship due of my expectations, and she would never have thought to tell me that since she feels like another person right now. She wanted me to say yes, but I declined. She took it poorly, blaming it on the fact that we were still young, 28, that I was her first genuine boyfriend, and that she never got to have her experiences. I realized that bargaining was pointless since it would only tear down my marriage now rather than maybe later and that it would force her into his arms. To summarize, she is going to try not to have CK this man, although she admitted that she definitely would because she needs someone who understands her right now and they haven't seen one other in a long time. She's meant to return home after her contract expires in two weeks and she says she loves me. It's just an experience and he'll sort it all out together as we usually do but I'm not sure I'll ever be able to trust her again. I mean, I was planned to have kids and things because I believed it would continue forever, but now I'm at a loss for words and can't sleep without medications. Is it best to wait a few months or a year before making a decision? She appears honest about wanting to remain with me, like if she spoke open about going nuts earlier. Should I call it quits as soon as she returns? It's only been six years, three years married. We have no children, and I love her more than anything in the world but I keep seeing her F-gang with an Italian male. I'm bewildered and humiliated, and I don't know what to do. Any advice would be highly appreciated. Edit. I've scheduled a meeting with the lawyer for tomorrow. I believe I've been pretending the entire situation isn't true, which is also why I haven't contacted my family slash friends. That's what I'm going to do tonight. Today, I cleansed the flat of all our photographs because I couldn't stomach seeing us so happy together in such a variety of situations. Now I must embrace it and make it a reality by my actions. It's just so difficult, mate, like everything was wonderful for six years and now my whole existence has turned upside down in a matter of days. I simply want to believe that everything will work out, that everything will be back to normal as soon as she gets home. I know it's untrue and I know I'm deluding myself, but I wish I could shut my eyes and keep dreaming because my paradise has turned into hell right now. I was thrilled for the first time in my life since she was a serious person with moral principles who constantly criticized others for their actions. And now, after all this time, she wants to cheat on me. How could she be the same person I married? I considered every argument I could think of to rationalize her behavior in a thousand different ways. Maybe he's drugging her. Maybe it's the stress, bipolar disorder, the troubles she had as a youngster. I simply wanted to conceal the truth because it sounds so phony that I can't believe it. I was astonished at first when I read all of the remarks here urging divorce. I was expecting people to attempt to take her side or to explain to me that stuff happens in relationships. I'm still not sure what I'm doing, but I know what I have to do now. But why? Oh why? I always try to be the greatest spouse I could be. It seemed like my first obligation, my first purpose in life. 
Even though I know I tried my best, I'm feeling guilty right now. I had a project that week and was not as accessible as usual. She was so anxious and upset that it was difficult for me as well. Maybe that's why she spent time with a man or why her sentiment surfaced. I don't know, guy. I'm just shattered on the inside. I just cannot believe it. Not her. Not us. I remained cool when we FaceTimed and she told me the truth about how she wanted to him. I didn't want to shatter those six years like way. What we have is so valuable, I thought. I didn't want to be rash, so I worked hard to help her comprehend what I was saying. I struggled not to shove her into his arms. But now I know that even if they didn't sleep together in the end, even if she continues apologizing, even if she says she still loves me, and that the entire thing was a foolish mistake, it will never happen again and our future still exists. I have to do it. I have to divorce. If you have any suggestions for entertainment to help me get through my days slash insomnia, such as a hilarious movie to watch or an entertaining TV program that doesn't deal with love or infidelity, please leave a comment or send me a message. I'm also reading philosophy on Stoicism, but I have other things to do and I'm too unwell to work. Someone provided me a page with psychological advice to assist me cope with it. I haven't eaten since the entire thing began. If you know of any good ones, not the typical nonsense that I can readily find, please share them with me. Thank you for opening my eyes, even if I didn't want to see the reality. It gives me some peace of mind to know that there are still decent people out there, and it gives me hope for the future. I suppose there is some hope at the end of the tunnel. Story 2 Wife cheated on me with my best friend. and not sure what to do next. This year, my wife cheated on me with my closest friend for two months, March and April. She had 12 encounters with him. She told me she stopped seeing him because she felt bad about it. She didn't tell me about it until three weeks ago. She apologized to him for stopping their romance in June before notifying me. I'm aware of how much she's insulted me so far. She hasn't seen him since June, and I believe her despite the fact that my confidence in her has been broken. I don't know why. Perhaps because she doesn't come home at 1 a.m. and war, like she did in March and April. I'm here today to get advice on whether I should forgive her and attempt to restore our relationship, or whether I should simply go on. If this was a one-time lapse, I might perhaps forgive it right away. I understand want an attraction, but 12 times? That's a decision, not an error. And she has the arrogance to tell me she felt bad after each one. We've been married for five years, but we've known each other for 10. She has suffered because of me, mentally and emotionally, not physically, for the last five years due to my mental health difficulties, mostly depression and laziness. I have been jobless for the last six years, and she has been taking care of me and being a relatively nice wife up to this point. I recognize I haven't been the greatest husband I could be, but the person my wife cheated on me with is also jobless and has been for a few years. The most significant difference between myself and my previous best buddy is that he is a Jehovah's Witness and I am not. She informed me that she fell in love with him because of his wide knowledge of biblical verses and because she spent too much time with him. She hasn't cheated on me since April of this year, but it has taken her seven months to admit it. For seven months, she convinced me that all she did was kiss him on the cheek. My wife deserves more than I do, I know that. For the previous six years, I have been a worthless member of society, jobless and sluggish, playing video games all day due to mental health difficulties and plain laziness. But I'm going to tackle each of these concerns one at a time, I've already scheduled an appointment with a therapist. But I still feel that no one deserves to be cheated on, and this agony is unbearable. Before attempting to repair our marriage, I met with her religious leaders many times, while she cheated behind my back. Her brother-in-law is an elder, a big deal in this religious group, and he warned her, but she disregarded him and me. I haven't informed anybody about her cheating on me yet, particularly her brother-in-law, since if I do, we'll hit the fan for her, and she might be booted out. Despite my wife's objections, I want to talk with the senior again and tell him the truth. The wife has said that she wants to begin mending our connection, but that it would take time. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. I know the affair occurred seven months ago, but it still seems like it happened three weeks ago to me. Therefore, I'm not sure what I want right now, which is why I'm here today seeking help from you great law.